Question, why Eliot praised Donner's capability to unify the intellectual thoughts and sensation of feelings? Answer, T.S. Eliot, the renowned poet and critic, praised John Donner for his remarkable ability to unify intellectual thoughts and the sensation of feelings in his poetry. Eliot's admiration for Donner's work can be understood by examining the following aspects. 1. Metaphysical Poetry T. Dottis, Eliot was instrumental in reviving and popularizing the term metaphysical poetry in the 20th century. He used this term to refer to a group of 17th century poets, including John Donne, George Herbert, and Andrew Marvel. Eliot saw these poets as sharing certain common features in their work, which set them apart from the more conventional poetry of their time. Metaphysical poetry was known for its intellectual rigor, use of conceits, and exploration of abstract and complex themes. 2. Intellect and Emotion In Donner's poetry, Eliot found a harmonious blend of intellectual depth and emotional intensity. Unlike some poets who either emphasized reason and intellect or focused solely on emotional expression, Donner seamlessly fused the two aspects in his work. For instance, in his poem of Valediction, Forbidding Morning, Donne combines the metaphysical idea of two lovers' souls being connected like the legs of a compass with profound emotions of love and separation. This ability to combine thought and feeling, without one overpowering the other, is what drew Eliot's admiration. 3. Complex Themes and Imagery Donne's poetry was known for its intricate and elaborate conceits, which often linked disparate concepts to create striking imagery and intellectual depth. These metaphysical conceits challenged the reader's intellect, as they required making connections between seemingly unrelated ideas. In poems like The Flea or Batter My Heart, Three Person God, Donne used metaphors drawing from various fields like science, religion, and mythology to explore complex themes. Eliot appreciated Donner's skill in presenting profound philosophical and religious concepts in a concise and imaginative manner, making his poetry both intellectually stimulating and emotionally evocative. 4. Psychological Insight Both Eliot and Donner shared an interest in exploring the human psyche and the complexities of human experience. Donner's poetry often delved into the inner workings of the mind and heart delving into themes such as love, desire, death, and spirituality. Eliot admired Donner's ability to provide deep psychological insights into the human condition, as this aspect aligned with his own exploration of the human mind and soul in his poetry. 5. Innovative Style Donner's poetic style was characterized by wit, intellectual acumen, and experimentation with worse forms. He employed unconventional structures and intricate wordplay, often challenging the traditional poetic norms of his time. Similarly, T.S. Eliot was a pioneering modernist poet who broke away from conventional poetic techniques, ushering in a new era of poetic expression. Eliot likely saw a kindred spirit in Donner's willingness to push the boundaries of poetic conventions and his innovative use of language and form. In summary, Eliot's praise for Donner's capability to unify intellectual thoughts and the sensation of feelings in his poetry stems from Donner's embodiment of metaphysical poetry's characteristics. The seamless integration of intellect and emotion, complex themes and imagery, profound psychological insights. An innovative poetic style all contributed to Eliot's admiration for John Donner as a masterful poet who achieved a unique synthesis of intellect and emotion in his works.